Hey guys, welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel where we cover all things crypto and crypto mining. So today's video is going to be about another big player in the Bitcoin mining space falling. Um, so we're going to talk about this article from Coindesk and it's titled Bitcoin Miner Argo's $27 million fundraise falls through and shares plunge. The Bitcoin mining industry is battling soaring energy prices coupled with the stagnated value of cryptos. Um, so essentially, they tried raising funds, weren't successful, and now they're having liquidity issues, right? With the increasing cost of energy and then this price action, not a good combo. Again, they weren't prepared either. Um, the key thing from here, this quote here, should Argo be unsuccessful in completing any further financing, Argo would become cash flow negative in the near term and would need to curtail or cease operations. It said in a statement to the London Stock Exchange. Um, so essentially, they don't have reserves to last them the next year, year and a half of this bear market. Again, another one who just wasn't prepared. They FOMO'd in and now they're paying for it. Um, Let's see, one interesting point is that they actually did sell some of their S19s. So in an attempt to secure some short-term liquidity, Argo sold 3,843 minor S19J S19 Pros for $5.6 million. So calculated real quick, comes out to about 1400 So that's, again, if you're looking for those cheap Bitcoin miners, which is why we're kind of paying attention to these articles, um, this is a good indicator right this is not a bad price again they're still probably going to go lower um, whether or not they go lower is going to be dependent on whether or not you think we've bottomed right if we haven't bottomed yet then these things are going to continue to sink but if you're in the camp that you think we already did bottom back at that what was it like high 17s low 18s then this is going to be an excellent price um, again, none of this is financial advice, anything like that, just giving you price points, um, what could possibly cause the price to go lower, etc., etc. Um, let's take a look at their stock price. <laughs> uh, so on the peak, it was at $20.50, and as of today, Halloween, October 31st, we're at $0.92. Cents. So again, if you're interested in investing into Bitcoin, you're eyeing it, don't mess with these proxies. Invest in the real thing. Buy that Bitcoin. It's, of course, we've dropped also if you're buying Bitcoin, but it's not to this extreme. Okay, there's too many variables when you're doing these proxies versus just investing in the real thing. Um, so Argo, again, we're going to reference this uh, tweet from F2 Pool. And they are down here. So they're still a big player. Um, the production was 215 during that time period. Um, so again, they are big. But yeah, it's just another one was fallen. And again, there may be a few more. We're still like in that earnings period to so see if anybody else says anything else. Um, and these are just, you know, publicly traded companies. I'm sure a lot of these like private companies or private miners who have these like larger farms are having issues as well. And I'm sure some of them are going to be capitulating if they haven't yet, they're probably going to in the future. Um, it just depends on the price action. Again, right, if you think we've bottomed, then this is the time to pick up. If you think we're still going to go down lower, then hold off. Me, personally, I'm like 50-50, right? So my big thing is I'm DCAing. Right now, these S19Js, I think they're not going to go much lower. Like, even if we do bottom more, I don't see them going a whole lot lower than they are right now. 1400 is not a bad price. I would say the lowest, if we tank, let's say we go down to 16 or something, maybe you'll see them at like a thousand bucks or maybe a little bit lower. But again, that's not that big of a price difference. 1400 to a thousand bucks, not worth it in case this is the bottom. And then, you know, four months from now, they're like two grand, 2500, 3000. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case either. I think if we don't bottom, we're just going to hover around in this range for a whole nother year. So. We'll see how it goes. Um, the one I am waiting for it to go lower are those XPs. Again, if I had a lot of space or like a 400 amp panel, I'd be picking up some of these S19Js already. Not mining with them yet, but I'd be like hanging on to them. Um, but since I'm limited, I gotta, if I'm gonna have one, it's gonna 
I have to be like the most efficient, which will be those XPs. Um, so here on what to mines, you get an idea for these S19Js. They're negative. And this is with a 10 cent, yeah, the 10 cent kilowatt, kilowatt hour. You're making negative 4 cents a month. So, <laughs> so not even breaking even. Um, but again, price action will dictate this. Um, your electricity cost will dictate this. Um, if we do get positive price action, which I think we will, it looks like we're pumped up a little bit yesterday. Chances are we're going to get this little holiday rally, but um, realistically we'll see more leveling off of the price but sometime Q1. We'll see where it goes. I'm not expecting anything crazy, maybe just like a higher low, but I think we're going to be sideways in this like 20, 22 range. Um, but the key thing is here are looking for these cheaper miners right and again as just a reminder don't be mining at a loss right i put out that video like a few weeks ago that short this is mining at a loss and this is what happens obviously this is at like an extreme scale these mining firms but essentially it's the same thing right none of these guys were prepared for this bear market they didn't have anything in reserves this is what happens Right, you gotta set up that plan, especially like that worst case scenario plan. Um, I wasn't super super prepared. I kind of was. I have money on the side, and I'm just waiting for more things to drop. Right, but again, I'm not mining at a loss. I'm in a position where I'm like looking to buy, just waiting for these prices to come down. Um, all right, guys. Well, just a quick one today. Just give you another heads up. Just another one coming. Again, I'm sure there's gonna be more. So we'll see. We're gonna keep an eye on it. Um, so hopefully you learned something, got some value. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.